These are somewhat the last enhancements in Gibbscam version 2023. First one being fixture visibility. Of course, in the past, we've been able to, uh, in the rendering, you've been able to see the fixture. Let this run through. And in the past, you've been able to click on uh, transparent to make your fixtures transparent. Uh, and of course, now you can click it again if you want your actual fixtures to disappear because sometimes fixtures get in the way of rendering and you have to rotate them around sometimes to see different uh, features of it. But now you can actually turn the fixture right off. And of course, you click it again and it's back on. Of course, we've been able to do transparent uh, stock body for quite a while. The next one um, is going to be uh, the updated Harvey tools and helical tools. If you haven't used those before, they're really nice to use. If you go to the plugins, you can see we have support for the Core Plus tool library, GAR tool library, Harvey tools, and helical solutions. So as an example, if you click on helical solutions, and let's say you want to uh, find an end mill in helical solutions, so you click on end mill, you can see the drop down menus here. And I'll just do English here. And um, you can give flute length, all different kinds of parameters here. I just said give me a half inch diameter end mill. You can give corner radius, all this information. But it lists all the tools under helical solutions. So if you want to know more about the tool, you just click on the tool itself. And if you click on the tool, you'll come up with the helical solutions for that particular tool. Let me bring it over here. And there's the actual tool number and a little information about the tool, prices, everything else. So this is a really good way to uh, uh, find a tool uh, if you're going to use the Helical Solutions or Harvey Tool or GAR and the rest of those. So this is a really nice feature in there. And of course, if you click on the tool and you put import the tool and it puts it in your tool list, you open up the tool and there's the Helical solutions, part number, information, everything about that fills in the blank here, the diameter, length, and everything you need there. So that's a really nice feature uh, and that's been updated as well. The next one is has to do with uh, course uh, simulation as well. So if I run this through and there's my I'll finish. Let's stop it there so it doesn't face it off. So here's the finished part here. Now you can, of course, if you want to just look at one certain toolpath, uh, you can still do that by selecting this button right here. And if you select the uh, operation which you want to see, of course, if you push play, that shows you that operation. But it doesn't show you all the previous operations uh, to where it got to this point. So if you right click up here in the blue area and you click on uh, show skipped ops. And let's just rewind it. Now let's just say I want to just see this particular operation here by having this uh, skip unselected ops on and this on. You can see it shows you everything there that was done previous to operation number seven in my case. So then, of course, you can click play, and that's going to show you that operation seven. And that works with any of the other ones as well. So let's say I just want to see uh, operation number three. I just want to watch that. And you can see everything that's before that will show up previous to operation number three. So this is just operation three. Of course, all we did was face it and go around the outside. So if I want to go, say, clear down to, let's say here, we'll rewind. And it's going to show you everything up until operation number 10. So then you can click play. So in this case, you're going to see everything up until operation number 10. So if I play it from here, you can see just what that tool is going to do, which is just chamfering on there. So that's a nice enhancement as well. I really like that one. And some of the next enhancements, quite a few of them. These are updates to all the CAD formats there. As you can see, Asus, Autodesk, Katia, Katia V5, V6, Key Creator, Mechanical Desktop, NX, Parasolid, 
um, parametric wildfire, PTC, um, DWG, rhinoceros. Uh, you can see all the different updates that have been done uh, as far as the CAD capability um, is. The next one would be the updated system requirements. So you don't have to have a really super high end to run Gibbs, but of course it helps. Uh, of course, Windows 10 and 11 or server. Uh, of course, the faster you have your uh, processor, better things are going to happen. Uh, RAM, I would uh, recommend at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, 32 is even better than that. So, And then, of course, you can go up from there. And you want a good uh, video card. Uh, I know that NVIDIA Quadro works really well, and there's uh, a number of others that uh, work really well with Gibbs, but these are kind of the minimum requirements. So that's about the end of the major enhancements in uh, version 2023. And uh, we'll be doing more videos, but they'll be labeled more uh, Gibbs Camp 2023 five axis. And I've, I bring up the list of some of the enhancements and improvements in the five axis. You can see it's quite a, a large list. There's uh, over 30 some odd enhancements in the five axis module. As you can see here, if I just kind of scroll down in the triangle mesh as well in five axis. So we'll be going over these separately because uh, these are a little more in the advanced on five axis. And um, scroll down through here, you can see some of the different things in five axis. Of course, if you download uh, the version 2023, you'll have this list here of what's improved, what's changed, what's been added. And we'll go over each one of these in the coming videos so you have a good idea how to use some of the new five axis enhancements on there. And just keep in mind, just because I'm saying it's five axis doesn't mean it's only for five axis users. So if I open up a five axis process example, you can see under the tool axis control, you can choose five axis, four axis, or even three axis. So uh, this five axis module has some really unique tool paths that the other uh, three axis tool paths don't have. So you can use a lot of different things in five axis uh, to do three axis tool paths. And uh, some of the, let me just bring some of this up here. You have triangle mesh, you have wireframes. So you have a lot of stuff you can still do in uh, using the five axis module, but in three axis mode. So uh, look at those videos as well. So if you have five axis, uh, you can use a lot of different tool paths. And I do have quite a few customers that don't even have a five axis machine and they have the five axis module to do three axis tool paths. So, just keep that in mind on the next videos. So thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next videos.